Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Never Online Homestead. My name is Cammy, and welcome back to my homestead. Well, guys, you see in this back bed back here, I just planted some carrots. I just harvested some carrots not long ago. I tried to put some um, uh, fertilizer in there and some uh, wood stove ashes and some lime. So that's kind of been setting. And I decided to go ahead and plant some carrots in there. So I'm so thankful for that. Now, I put the plastic over it. I've also watered them. And I put some plastic over two things to keep the chickens out, and we've got some a lot of rain coming tomorrow. Actually, three things, and this is going to create humidity into this greenhouse so these seeds can go ahead and start germinating. This time I planted them a little bit thicker than last time. Last time I had a double plant, which actually um, will replant again, is what I'm saying, and which worked out great because it created the seed to come out, come up at different times, and I harvest throughout the winter, and it's been just absolutely wonderful and canned off of this little bed back here. So I just planted some more carrots, and what I'm going to do is show you um, basically how I did it. In this bed right here, I've been experimenting throughout the winter. I've planted some potatoes in here in early December. Just curiosity because most time we don't plant potatoes until February. So I kind of dug around in there. I found one that was rotten. Actually, uh, in, we're in February, early, let's see, February 4th, I think it is. But anyways, early February and early January, I dug around in there, or in January, dug around there and found the potatoes were doing great. They still held on, but the last three, four weeks, we've had so much rain. I mean, just rain, 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 and more rain. And we got rain coming again tomorrow. So as I dug around in this bed, I did find, I think, about six potatoes. There could be more in there, but I found six potatoes. One was rotten, and the rest were, were just fine. And actually, one potato, I looked at it, and you could tell where the roots are starting to come out on it. So with this day and that, that was a good experiment with me. I had nothing to lose. I had the potatoes, and they need to be done something with. I could have basically kept them, but they really need to be put into the ground. So I'm going to be planting probably some more potatoes in here, but I'm, I'm going to give you just a little example of what I did in this other bed. So uh, in this bed right here and in the other one over there, I took my, my hoe and went through and basically plowed up my ground to get all my nutrients worked in and uh which I've already done that before, but when I plant, I like to have my soil kind of, you know, really loose. And so I went and did this bed the same way. That's how I started looking for these potatoes at the same time. And then I took this rake right here in the other bed and raked it through. This kind of levels out the ground, kind of, you know, filters it a little bit, kind of rakes through, breaking it up some more. And, uh, with, and I did the same thing in this other bed. So what I'm going to do in this uh, showing is that I use this rake right here, um, this rake right here, to help make my little tiny rows, if you want to say it like that. So even though I'm going to be planting potatoes in here, I just want to show you basically how I did it. So like I said, I went through, I was sure my soil was kind of loose, and then I took the other rake, and I raked through it, getting out any stones or anything, you know, like that, or any weeds or stuff like that. Um, you can go through and rake through this and plant your seeds, I, and that works great. You know, I like to go through like this, anyhow, and just rake through. This is making little burrows, making little, like little rows, okay? So I'm not going to be planting this bed in uh, carrots, but um, that makes little rows, and you can scatter your seeds throughout there. But I also kind of like this right here. This, I kind of go a little bit deeper. And uh, it makes, it makes, I, I like how it makes the rows. If you can say rows, but it's just making little grooves into the ground, like that. And if this was to dry up, you know, the, got warmer here uh, throughout the day, you will see the little tiny rows in here. So, then what I did, or when I think it up here, uh, when I did that one, it was working out great. Well, we see we're fixing to get some rain tomorrow, like I said, and so the wind's picking up. So then I just uh, scattered my seeds, and I'm going to leave these in here, of course. And with this little bit of wind, it just scatters them perfectly. I'm just going to pretty much just shaking them out like you would your salt and pepper shaker over your food. So that's that. And then, what I like to do um, is take and just, uh, you know, just kind of put a little bit of dirt 
over them like that. Just kind of rub your hands through your. You're not want to. You don't want to cover them too deep anyhow. Well, these are little tiny seeds. And then I take my other rake here, and I'm going to pat it down just like that. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, once you got your soil kind of fluffed up, like I said. You can even do it like that and then scatter your seeds. It's just make a little rows tonight, make it little rows. chickens out because a while ago my chickens I was trying to do a video on that one and the chickens got right into my bed and they hadn't even been into it hadn't even messed with it but that's how they are when it comes when at least mine are when I start messing around in dirt they like come right there they're ready to dig with me I think they think they're human <laughs> so that's it guys so what I'm gonna do with this um so I did plant those carrots I don't want to waste my seeds I'm just gonna lay something over that I'm gonna take a, a tarp and uh I'm probably gonna take these right here. You know, you can just take something around your house. You can always find stuff stuff to work. I'm not just gonna lay it like that. It's not gonna be laying onto the dirt. And uh, then that way, when it rains tomorrow, you know, I'll probably lay a little tarp over this. And when it rains tomorrow, it's not gonna be pounding down onto that dirt. Now, since we've had so much rain, I did take my hoe and dig, dig up in there, and I noticed how. Uh, how compact that dirt was when I actually just did it a couple of weeks ago and it was fine but that shows you how much rain we have all right guys thank you so much for watching please hit that subscribe button thank you for uh, thank you all my subscribers and y'all give me a like up so you two will put me out there so people can see these videos you got to have a certain quantity of likes before they'll do that but I love doing this I like inspiring people uh, informing people and encouraging people so y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Remember my motto, um, my, my saying here is make it a great day. God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful day.